Okay, so woke up 20 minutes ago, getting ready for the race. These are the new Nord lights from Kraft, which are light. They've got something inside of them. There's a little bit of propulsion there. They're not yet a super shoe, but we're getting there. But um, it, was, it, was, it was funny yesterday, I mean, a lot of people that I've met over the last 10, 13 years since I first did this in 2010. So a lot of feelings come back, a lot of friendships that I've made around along the years, a lot of rivalries that it's amazing when you go toe to toe with somebody for 50K and you've literally, you, 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 you breathe, you hear them breathing, um, you're kind of going through the tough sections together, they're keeping up with you, you're trying to keep up with them, then you're finishing and you're trying to kind of survive, or you're trying to survive sometimes, or you're trying to win, you're trying to place, whatever. Um, you have these amazing battles, and especially with the Spanish personality, it's a fighting personality. So you, you have these intense rivalries that become very, very strong friendships, because not only do you know how hard that person worked that day, but you know how hard they've worked for the last year, or the last the build up at least for the last three months and for the last years and it takes a decade. It took me seven years to win this race. From from starting out, it took me seven years and that was my obsession. I, moved, I did the race here 2010, after getting back into the running at the start of the year, August 2010, I did the race. And then it, be, it just became, after seeing the people on the podium, it just became an obsession. Uh, to win it and you know I made all the mistakes you can imagine on the way had a couple of years where I was or a year at least where I was favorite and then I had and then I dropped out because I I was just dead um, and then and then 2017 I came back and there was no way that I could there, there was no way that I was gonna let anybody beat me I was so determined I'd done so much training had done the previous year as well I mean you do so much training and then it doesn't go to plan that's demoralizing that takes a couple of weeks to get over and but uh, with the perspective you learn to kind of move on but today after the stelvio race a couple of weeks ago two hours and 50 minutes uh going up the mountain my uh, left calf is, is not perfect so today i decided not to do a 50k race but to do the 11k race which is the last 11k so we start at 2,400 meters, um, just above the ski center, um, and we go to 3,400 meters. So it's like, I think it's like nine, it, that sounds like a thousand meters of altitude, but I think it's 900 meters of altitude in 11K. So it's 11K at 8% gradient, which is great because that's what uh, essentially I was training for. I was training to run a half marathon on Stelvio Pass because I thought it was a road race, at eight nine percent so that's what i was training for and then throughout the training i'd stop and start because there would be some tendonitis in my left calf which as soon as this race is finished i'm gonna get that fixed i'm just gonna go uh move to somewhere literally relocate move to somewhere for the next three months two three months i'm gonna be uh and over the winter as well uh where literally regular massage uh, get back on the bike, be doing 250, 300k on the bike every week, um, training in the mornings, then working in the afternoons. Um, and, and, and that probably sounds like a, you know, a strong level of commitment for somebody, but for me, it's really, really important to give the best I possibly can in all aspects of my life. So it's really important to do that. And, and just by moving, just by moving to that place, it's like, I'm, I'm all in and it's really important for me to do that. So today, today 11K at that altitude, so there's gonna be a few factors in play. There's gonna be wind up there because you're high on the mountain. It's gonna be high altitude, so the air is gonna be thinner. It's gonna be harder to breathe. The gradient, eight, nine percent. Some of the curves are 20, 20, to, 20 to 25%. So you gotta watch out for those. There's gonna be parts where it's faster to power hike than it is to actually run. You're running that slow. But it's the first time I've been, it's the last section of the 50K, it's the last 11K of the 50K. It's the first time I've been there 
with fresh legs. So I'm gonna see how that is. I've done lots of training runs from there, so I know approximately what time I should be aiming for. I know all the previous, um, or I think I know the previous course record, is essentially 5.30, I think 5 to 5.30 per kilometer. So that, that is some going at 8% high altitude with wind, there'll be snow up there. That is some going, that is an incredible, I'll show you the I'll show you the mountain in a minute, but um, that is an, that's incredible going five minutes per kilometer. So let's see if I can push. Let's see if I, kind of how much kind of moaning the calf does. There's just no excuses though, and that's um, and that's the great thing about this. It's like yesterday, how, how are you gonna do? Are you gonna win? And I'm not doing the 50k. I'm doing the 11k. And okay, you're gonna win that. And and it's kind of like. Well, I don't, I don't know because when once you do a couple of races and you have to drop out really early because your calf is just not ready and there's only so much you can do you essentially need to prepare and then put yourself in a position where it doesn't matter what the preparation was it's all about race day it's all about giving yourself the best possible chance on on race day to do to do your best no matter what has happened and all, and you can surprise yourself um you can surprise yourself both ways you can go you can have the perfect build up and it goes disastrously and you can have the worst build up in the world and it goes amazing because you're mentally in a good place um you're ready for it the adrenaline kicks in competition kicks in competition is going to kick in really quickly um and i'm so, i'm just so happy to be racing so it's been a long it was a long kind of I think February, March, April, May, and then May Passatori was 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 uh, cancelled because of flooding in northern Italy. So it was a long time without competing before Stelvio race. So it was great to compete, and I felt brilliant two weeks ago. But I wasn't really pushing it. I was sort of like eighty percent, and then um, and yeah, and then this yeah. I mean, if anybody can kind of like, if anybody should be able to win today, it should be me. Uh, so I'm I'm hoping that everything goes to plan and uh, get the win. But let's see how it goes. I'll show you the mountain. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's a sun that's come up. And if you were doing the 50k race, we just pass in. This is a hotel that we just pass in. Sort of the, coming towards the 5k is about 3k mark here, and then that'll take you into the mountains. And you'll go the old route away from the motorway and that will go up and finish from here 47k away and behind us is granada center so the, for me the most beautiful race in the world in the world and along the way whether it's the 11k race today or the 50k race along the way you get to a point where you're high enough where you can see over the mountains over the alpahara mountains and you can see the Mediterranean Sea and to the right, Africa on a clear day. Uh, for me, it's just spectacular. My favorite race by far.